Basics of Medical Biochemistry. First Edition, 2022. Chapter 4. Chemistry of Proteins. Part 1 of 2. By Professor Dr. Muhammad Jod. MBBS, Tao, M. Philosophy, PhD, Dip M. E. Head of the Biochemistry Department Phase I Ruth Fa Medical College PAF Base Faisal Karachi Pakistan Ex-Professor of Biochemistry, Qasim University Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Ex-Professor, Head of the Biochemistry Department and Vice Principal Liaquat College of Medicine and Dentistry and Fatima Jinnah Dental College, Karachi Pakistan Chapter 4 Chemistry of Proteins 4.1 Introduction and History Proteins were recognized as a distinct class of biological molecules in the 18th century by Antoine Fourcroy and others as distinguished molecules having the ability to coagulate or flocculate on treatment with heat or acid. Dutch chemist Gerhardus Johannes Mulder carried out elemental analysis of common proteins and the term protein was proposed in 1838 by Mulder's associate Johns Jacob Berzelius. In the 1950s, the Armour Hot Dog Co. purified the bovine pancreatic ribonuclease. Linus Pauling predicted the secondary structure of a protein based on hydrogen bonding, an idea first put forward by William Astbury in 1933. Later work by Walter Kausman on denaturation, based partly on previous studies by Kaya Linderstrom Lang, contributed to an understanding of protein folding and structure mediated by hydrophobic interactions. In 1949 Fred Sanger correctly determined the amino acid sequence of insulin. The first atomic resolution structures of proteins were solved by X-ray crystallography in the 1960s and by NMR in the 1980s. As of 2009, the Protein Data Bank has over 55,000 atomic resolution structures of proteins. In more recent times, Cryo-electron microscopy of large macromolecular assemblies and computational protein structure prediction of small protein domains are two methods approaching atomic resolution. The term protein is derived from the Greek word, proteios, meaning in the lead or standing in front or primary or holding first place or preeminent as now it is the established fact that proteins are one among the most important biological substances. Proteins are nitrogenous colloidal substances made up of amino acid residues joined together by a peptide linkage. Their elementary composition like carbohydrates and lipids is mainly carbon, hydrogen and oxygen but 16% of the molecular weight of proteins is due to nitrogen content. A small amount of sulfur and phosphorus are also present. Few proteins also contain other elements such as I, Cu, Mn, Zn, Fe, etc. Basic Concepts Proteins are the most abundant and functionally diverse molecules in the living world. Proteins are a fundamental structural component of the body, these are regarded as an essential constituent of protoplasm. Proteins are necessary to build up tissues specially during growth, pregnancy, lactation, and convalescence. They provide nitrogen, sulfur, iron, and some vitamins to the body. They are involved in the formation of supporting structures in the body as bone, cartilage, skin, nails, hair, and muscles. One gram of protein per kg per day is sufficient. Each gram of protein furnishes 4.1 kilocalories of energy. Nucleoproteins serve as a carrier of heredity. Most enzymes are protein in nature, without them life is impossible. Some hormones are also proteins, such as insulin growth hormone, parathyroid hormone, etc. Proteins perform a certain special role in the body as carriers of O2, hemoglobin, maintenance of osmotic pressure, act as a buffer, act as defending agents, etc. There are about 300 amino acids that occur in nature but only 20 of them are found in human proteins. Almost all globular proteins are soluble and many are enzymes. Fibrous proteins are often structural, such as collagen, the major component of connective tissue, or keratin, the protein component of hair and nails. Membrane proteins often serve as receptors or provide channels for polar or charged molecules to pass through the cell membrane. 4.2 Amino Acids 
Proteins are linear polymers built from a series of up to 20 different L-alpha amino acids. All amino acids possess common structural features, including an alpha carbon to which an amino group, a carboxyl group, and a variable side chain are bonded. The amino acids in a polypeptide chain are linked by peptide bonds. Once linked in the protein chain, an individual amino acid is called a residue, and the linked series of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen atoms are known as the main chain or protein backbone. Only proline differs from this basic structure as it contains an unusual ring to the N-endamine group, which forces the co-NH amide moiety into a fixed conformation. The side chains of the standard amino acids have a great variety of chemical structures and properties, it is the combined effect of all of the amino acid side chains in a protein that ultimately determines its three-dimensional structure and its chemical reactivity. Figure 4.1 General Structure of Amino Acid Tsvitarion, meaning hybrid amino acids have both an amine and a carboxylic acid functional group and are therefore both acid and base at the same time. At a certain compound-specific pH known as the isoelectric point, the number of protonated ammonium groups with a positive charge and deprotonated carboxylate groups with a negative charge are equal, resulting in a net neutral charge. Amino acids are tsvitarions in the solid phase and polar solutions such as water and depending on the pH, but not in the gas phase. Tsvitarions have minimal solubility at their isoelectric point and amino acids are often isolated by precipitation from the water after adjusting the pH to their isoelectric point. Figure 4.2 Tsvitarion showing net neutral charge. 4.2.1 Classification of Amino Acids I Chemical Classification, according to the number of COOH and NH2 groups i.e., according to the net charge on the amino acid. A monobasic, monocarboxylic amino acids i.e., neutral, or unchanged argued. Subclassification of neutral amino acids. 1 glycine, R is H. 2 alanine, R is CH3. 3 branched chain amino acids, R is branched such as in. Ivaline, R is an isopropyl group. 2 leucine, R is the isobutyl group. 3 isoleucine, R is the isobutyl group. R is isobutyl in both leucine and isoleucine but the branching is different, in leucine, branching occurs on gamma carbon whereas in isoleucine, branching occurs on beta carbon. Branched chain amino acids are also known as amino acids having aliphatic side chains that are nonlinear. Clinical aspect, branched chain amino acids have been used clinically to aid in the recovery of burn victims. They are also used in the treatment of some cases of hepatic encephalopathy. For neutral sulfur-containing amino acids, example cysteine and methionine. Two molecules of cysteine can combine by disulfide linkage through oxidation to form cysteine. 5. Neutral, hydroxy amino acids, example serine and threonine. 6. Neutral aromatic amino acids. Iphenylalanine, it is alanine in which one hydrogen of CH3 is substituted with the phenyl group. 2. Tyrosine, it is p-hydroxyphenylalanine, it is classified as a phenolic amino acid. 3. Tryptophan, as it contains an indole ring so it is also included in the class of heterocyclic amino acids. 7. Neutral heterocyclic amino acids. I. Tryptophan, it contains an indole ring. 2. Proline, in proline, the amino group enters the ring formation being an alpha amino group so, proline is an alpha amino acid rather than alpha amino acid. B. Basic amino acids. They contain two or more NH2 groups or nitrogen atoms that act as base i.e., kin bind proton. At physiological pH, basic amino acids will be positively charged. Examples of basic amino acids are lysine, arginine, which contains the guanido group, and histidine, basic heterocyclic amino acids. C. Acidic amino acids, they carry a negative charge at physiological pH. Examples of the acidic amino acid include aspartic acid, aspartate, and glutamic acid, glutamate. Asparagine and glutamine are amide forms of aspartate and glutamate in which side chain COOH groups are imidated. They are classified as neutral amino acids. Two classification according to the polarity of the side chain, are 
A polar amino acids, in these amino acids R contains a polar hydrophilic group so can form a hydrogen bond with H2O. The R of polar amino acids may contain 1O group, as in serine, threonine, and tyrosine. 2SH group, as in cysteine. 3 amide group, as in glutamine and asparagin. 4 NH2 group or nitrogen, they act as a base, basic amino acid, as lysine, arginine, and histidine. 5 COOH group, acidic amino acids, as aspartic acid and glutamic acid. B nonpolar amino acids, in these amino acids, R is an alkyl hydrophobic group that cannot enter hydrogen bond formation. There are 9 nonpolar amino acids. Glycine, alanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, phenylalanine, tryptophan, proline, and methionine. 3. Nutritional classification On the basis of nutritional requirements, amino acids are classified as essential, semi essential, and non essential amino acids. 1. Essential amino acids These amino acids cannot be formed in the body and so, it is essential to be taken into the diet. Their deficiency affects growth, health, and protein synthesis. Examples are lysine, leucine, isoleucine, methionine, phenylalanine, tryptophan, threonine and valine. Two semi-essential amino acids, these are formed in the body but not in sufficient amounts for body requirements, especially in children. Arginine and histidine are semi-essential amino acids. Three non-essential amino acids. These are the rest of the 10 amino acids that are formed in the body in an amount enough for adults and children. 4. Metabolic classification, according to metabolic or degradation product of amino acids they may be. 1. Ketogenic amino acids, they give ketone bodies. Lysine and leucine are pure ketogenic amino acids. 2. Mixed ketogenic and glucogenic amino acids, they give both ketone bodies and glucose. They include isoleucine, phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan. 3. Glucogenic amino acids, they give glucose. They include the rest of the amino acids. These amino acids by catabolism yield products that enter glycogen and glucose formation. Table 4.1 Common abbreviations for amino acids Name of amino acid Symbol 3 letter 1 letter Alanine. Ala. A. Arginine. Arg. R. Asparagin. ASN. N. Aspartate, aspartic acid. ASP. D. Cysteine. Cys. C. Glycine. GLY. G. Glutamate, glutamic acid. Glu. E. Glutamine. GLN. Q. Histidine. His. H. Isoleucine. Isle. I. Leucine. Lau. L. Lysine. Lys. K. Methionine. Met. M. Phenylalanine. PHE F proline pro P serine ser S threonine THR T tyrosine tear Y tryptophan TRP W valine val V Non-standard amino acids Apart from the 20 standard amino acids, there are many non-standard or non-protonogenic amino acids. A non-standard amino acid is an amino acid that occurs naturally in cells but does not participate in protein synthesis. Some non-standard amino acids are constituents of peptides, but they are generated by modification of standard amino acids in the peptide molecule. These modifications are often essential for the function or regulation of a protein example the carboxylation of glutamate allows for better binding of calcium cations. Similarly, 
significant proportions of the amino acids in collagen are modified forms of proline and lysine as 4-hydroxyproline and 5-hydroxylysine which are critical for maintaining connective tissues. Some non-standard amino acids are not found in proteins. Examples include lanthionine, 2-aminoisobutyric acid, dehydroalanine, and the neurotransmitter gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA. Non-standard amino acids often occur as intermediates in the metabolic pathways for standard amino acids. For example, ornithine, citrulline and arginosuccinic acid occur in the urea cycle which is taking place in the liver as a part of amino acid catabolism. Some other examples of non-standard amino acids are beta-alanine, pantothenic acid, DOPA, homocysteine, prothrombin, and methylicine, desmosine and iodinated amino acids such as MIT, DIT, T3 and T4. Figure 4.3 Classification of Amino Acids Physical Properties of Amino Acids 1. Soluble in water, strong acid, and base. 2. All are optically active due to the presence of asymmetric carbon atom except glycine. While L-amino acids represent the vast majority of amino acids, D-amino acids are also found in some proteins. D-serine may act as a neurotransmitter in the brain. 3. They have all the biological importance of proteins. 4. Amphoteric properties of amino acids, they have both basic and acidic groups and so, can act as base or acid. Neutral amino acids, monobasic, monocarboxylic, exist in an aqueous solution as tsvitarion i.e., contain both positive and negative charges. A tsvitarion is electrically neutral and cannot migrate into an electric field. The isoelectric point, IEP or IP, is the pH at which the tsvitarion is formed. For example, the IP of alanine is 6. Figure 4.4 Amphoteric Behavior of an Amino Acid on the Addition of Acid and Base Alanine has two dissociating groups. The first PK1, RCOOH, is 2.35 and the second PK2, RNH3+, is 9.69. The isoelectric pH, pi, of alanine is pi equals PK1 plus PK2, slash 2. Pi equals 2.35 plus 9.69 slash 2. Pi equals 6.02. Figure 4.5 Titration Curve of Alanine Chemical Properties of Amino Acids 1. Reactions due to COOH group, salt formation with alkalis, ester formation with alcohols, amide formation with amines and decarboxylation. 2. Reactions due to NH2 group. Ninhydrin reagent reacts with an amino group of amino acids yielding blue color. The intensity of the blue color indicates the number of amino acids present. Ninhydrin can react with amino acids such as proline and hydroxyproline but gives yellow color. Three reactions due to side chain, are these include the following. Imillin's reaction, 4-tyrosine gives red colored mass. 2 hopkin cole test for indole ring of tryptophan and proteins containing this amino acid. 3. Xanthoproteic test, for the aromatic amino acids i.e., phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan. 4. Sakaguchi test, for guanido group of arginine gives red color. V. Lead sulfide test, sulfur test for sulfur containing amino acids as cysteine gives brown color. Peptide bond formation. A peptide bond is formed when the alpha carboxyl group of one amino acid forms a covalent bond with an alpha amino group of another amino acid by removal of a molecule of water. The peptide bond has two resonance forms that contribute some double bond character and inhibit rotation around its axis so that the alpha carbons are roughly coplanar. The other two dihedral angles in the peptide bond determine the local shape assumed by the protein backbone. Each polypeptide chain starts on the left side by the free amino group of the first amino acid is termed N-terminus. Whereas the polypeptide chain ends on the right side by free COOH group of the last amino acid is termed as C-terminus. The peptide bond formation is a condensation reaction. In cells, this reaction does not occur directly, instead, the amino acid is first activated by attachment to a transfer RNA molecule through an ester bond. 
This amino acylterna is produced in an ADP-dependent reaction carried out by an amino acyl tRNA synthetase. This amino acylterna then acts as a substrate for the ribosome, which catalyzes the attack of the amino group of the elongating protein chain on the ester bond. As a result of this mechanism, all proteins made by ribosomes are synthesized starting at their N-terminus and moving towards their C-terminus. Figure 4.6 Peptide Bond Formation Examples of Peptides 1-dipeptide, 2 amino acids joined by 1-peptide bond, example aspartame used as a sweetening agent being used in replacement of cane sugar. It is composed of aspartic acid and phenylalanine. 2-tripeptide, 3 amino acids linked by 2-peptide bonds, example glutathione which is formed of 3 amino acids, glutamic acid, cysteine, and glycine. It helps in the absorption of amino acids and protects the hemolysis of RBCs by breaking H2O2 which causes cell damage. 3 octapeptides, 8 amino acids, example hormones like oxytocin and vasopressin. 4 polypeptides, these are a long chain of 10 to 50 amino acids example insulin hormone. 4.3 Classification of Proteins Proteins can be classified in the following different ways. A. According to the physicochemical properties. Proteins are classified into, simple, conjugated, complex, and derived proteins. I. Simple proteins, proteins that are on hydrolysis give only amino acids. Examples. 1. Albumins 2. Globulins 3. Glutellins 4. Prolamins 5. Hist 1s. 6. Globins 7. Protamines 8. Scleroproteins. 1. Albumins. Water soluble. Heat label, coagulated upon heating. Precipitated by full saturation with ammonium sulfate. Found in both animal and plant kingdom example. I. Egg albumin, forms 10 to 12 percent of egg white. 2. Serum albumin, occurs in serum as 4 to 5 percent, lymph, tissue fluid, etc. 3. Animal lactalbumin, in milk. 4. Legumelin, in peas. V. Leucosin, in wheat. Some of the albumins are known to contain residues of carbohydrates so, truly they belong to conjugated proteins, glycoproteins. 2. Globulins. Water insoluble. Heat label, coagulated upon heating. Soluble in dilute solutions of salt, alkalis, and acids. Precipitated by half saturation with ammonium sulfate. By electrophoresis, they are categorized as alpha 1 globulins, alpha 2 globulins, beta globulins, and gamma globulins. One group of gamma globulins are immunoglobulins, that function as antibodies. Widely distributed in both plant and animal kingdoms, example I serum globulin, 2 ova globulin, egg yolk, 3 crystalline found in the crystalline lens of the eye. 4. Fibrinogen, in plasma. V. Myosin, in muscles. 6. Vegetable globulins. A. Adestin of hemp seed and cotton. B. Phaseolin of beans. C. Legumin of pea. D. Amandine of almonds. Normal albumin slash globulin, A slash G, ratio equals 1.5 to 2.5 which means that the level of albumin is 1.5 to 2.5 more than globulin. 3. Glutellins Soluble in dilute acids and alkalis. Insoluble in neutral solutions. Only found in plant kingdom example. Iglutinin of wheat. 2. Orizonin of rice. 4. Prolamins, alcohol-soluble proteins. Soluble in 70 to 80 percent alcohol. Insoluble in water, neutral solvents, or absolute alcohol. Rich in proline but deficient in lysine. Found in the plant kingdom principally in seeds example. Isian of corn. 2. Hordean of barley. 3. Gliadine of wheat. 5. Hist ones. Soluble in water, dilute acids, and alkalis. Hist ones are basic proteins, rich in arginine. Heat stable, not coagulated by heat. Usually found in combination with nucleic acids. 
HIST1s are the components of chromatin. They act as spools around which DNA wins, and they play a role in gene regulation. Each human cell has about 1.8 meters of DNA but wound on the HIST1s it has about 90 millimeters of chromatin, which, when duplicated and condensed during mitosis, results in about 120 micrometers of chromosomes. Insoluble in ammonium hydroxide. 6. Globins. They are rich in histidine. They unite with heme to form hemoglobin. Hemoglobin of one species differs from one another in respect of the composition of globin chain as heme part is the same in all of them. 7. Protamines. Resemble hist ones but soluble in NH4O. Strongly basic in character. Found in sperm cells. 8. Albuminoids, scleroproteins. Occur only in animals. They are chief constituents of exoskeletal structures example. Eye collagen, fibrous tissue, bones and cartilage. 2. Elastin, elastic tissues, cartilage, tendon and arteries. 3. Keratin, skin, nail, hair, horn and hoof of animals. 2. Conjugated proteins. 1. Nucleoproteins. Composed of simple basic proteins, protamines and hist ones, with nucleic acid, DNA and RNA. These are proteins of cell nuclei, regarded as the chief constituents of chromatin. These are abundant among the tissues having a large proportion of nuclear material such as yeast, thymus, glandular organs, and sperms. 2. Mucoproteins, glycoproteins. Composed of simple proteins with mucopolysaccharides. The carbohydrate is attached to the protein by the process, known as glycosylation. In proteins that have segments extending extracellularly, the extracellular segments are often glycosylated. Glycoproteins are often important integral membrane proteins, where they play a role in cell-cell interactions. They are generally present in animal mucin and blood group substances. They are slippery and suitable for lubrication. They are important constituents of the ground substance of connective tissue. Several hormones such as ICSH, FSH, and HCG are mucoproteins. 3. Phosphoproteins This type of conjugated protein has phosphoric acid residue. They include casein of milk and vitellin of egg yolk. 4. Lipoproteins Proteins conjugated with lipids such as lecithin, cephalin, cholesterol, and fatty acids. High-density and low-density lipoproteins enable the fats to be carried in the bloodstream. They occur in milk, blood, egg yolk, cell membrane, and cell nuclei. The transmembrane proteins of the mitochondria are also lipoproteins. 5. Chromoproteins They are composed of simple protein united with a colored prosthetic group. A heme protein or hemoprotein, is a metal a protein containing a heme prosthetic group, either covalently or noncovalently bound to the protein. The iron in the heme is capable of undergoing oxidation and reduction reactions. They perform diverse biological functions including, oxygen transport, hemoglobin, oxygen storage, myoglobin, catalysis, peroxidases, cytochrome C oxidase, active membrane transport, cytochromes, electron transfer, cytochrome C, catalase, and sensory, rhodopsin. 2. Flavoprotein that contains a nucleic acid derivative of riboflavin as flavin adenine dinucleotide, FAD, or flavin mononucleotide, FMN. Flavoproteins are involved in a wide range of biological processes, including, the removal of radicals contributing to oxidative stress, DNA repair, and apoptosis. 6. Metalloproteins. These proteins are found in combination with metallic ions. They are involved in a wide variety of biochemical processes. Following are the important examples of metalloproteins. Iferidin, Fe. 2. Carbonic anhydrase, Zn. 3. Ceruloplasmin, Cu. 3. Derived proteins. 1. Primary derived proteins. These are obtained from native protein by their denaturation and very little or partial hydrolysis. I proteins. Obtained from globulin by the action of dilute acid, enzyme, or water. 
insoluble in dilute salt solution example fibrin, myosin, and edistin. 2. Metaproteins These are obtained by the action of slightly stronger acid and alkalis, such as acid and alkali albuminates. 3. Coagulated protein These are denatured proteins formed by the action of heat, X-ray, ultraviolet rays, alcohols, etc. Example coagulated albumin, cooked proteins, etc. 2. Secondary derived proteins These are intermediate products of protein digestion, resulting from progressive hydrolysis. These include proteases, peptones, polypeptides, and oligopeptides. I. Proteases, these are water-soluble, heat-stable, and precipitated by full saturation with ammonium sulfate. They may be categorized as primary and secondary proteases based on their molecular mass respectively. 2. Peptones, these are obtained from hydrolysis of albumin. These are water-soluble, heat-stable, and are not precipitated by full saturation with ammonium sulfate but precipitated by phosphotungstic acid. 3. Polypeptides, these are obtained from further hydrolysis of peptones. 4. Oligopeptides, these are the fragments of polypeptides, composed of few amino acid residues. Denaturation of proteins, it is a change in the native state, physical, chemical, and biological properties, of proteins without destruction of their peptide linkage but the destruction of secondary bonds leading to unfolding. It is carried out by many denaturing agents like physical agents, high temperature, high pressure, X-ray, ultraviolet rays, and mechanical agitation, and chemical agents, strong acids, strong alkalis, organic solvents, heavy metals, and urea. Denaturation results in the decrease of solubility, increase of viscosity and loss of activity of a protein. B. According to the axial ratio of the protein. 1. Fibrous proteins These proteins are composed of individual, elongated, filamentous chains which are joined laterally by several types of cross linkages to form a fairly stable protein. They have an axial ratio of more than 10, axial ratio equals length slash width, example keratin, elastin, myosin, and collagen. 2. Globular proteins These are characterized by the presence of peptide chains that are folded or coiled in a very compact manner. They have a spheroid or ovoid shape. Their axial ratio is less than 10, and they are less stable than fibrous proteins, example albumin, globulin, and ribonuclease. C. According to function. 1. Catalytic proteins, proteins acting as enzymes. Example pepsin, trypsin, and amylase. 2. Defensive proteins, immunoglobulins, antibodies, are involved in defense mechanisms. 3. Contractile proteins. Proteins of skeletal muscle involved in muscle contraction and relaxation. Example actin and myosin. 4. Respiratory proteins, involved in the function of respiration, like hemoglobin, myoglobin, and cytochromes. 5. Structural proteins, proteins of skin, bones, cartilage, nails and teeth. Example collagen, elastin, and keratin. 6. Regulatory proteins. These proteins act as hormones. Example insulin, glucagon, growth hormone, etc. D. According to nutritional importance. 1. First class proteins, these are also known as a complete protein, mainly obtained from animal sources like meat, fish, dairy, and poultry products. They have a good balance of essential amino acids. 2. Second class proteins. These are also known as incomplete proteins and are usually of vegetable origin as found in grains, nuts, pulses and seeds. These are low in one or more of the essential amino acids. To obtain the essential amino acids from vegetable proteins in good proportion they need to be combined together, for example, grains contain a lot of tryptophan and not much lysine whereas pulses contain a lot of lysine but not much tryptophan so by combining grains and pulses together gives a good balance. Gliadine, a type of prolamin, of wheat is deficient in lysine and zein of corn lacks lysine and tryptophan. 4.4 Structure of Proteins The words protein, polypeptide, and peptide are a little ambiguous and can overlap in meaning. Protein is usually referred to as the complete biological molecule in a stable conformation, 
whereas peptide is generally reserved for a short amino acid oligomer often lacking a stable three-dimensional structure. However, the boundary between the two is not well defined and usually lies near 20 to 30 residues. A polypeptide can refer to any single linear chain of amino acids, usually regardless of length, but often implies an absence of a defined conformation. Alpha amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. Amino acids combine in a condensation reaction, that is, through dehydration synthesis, that releases water and the new amino acid residue that is held together by a peptide bond. Most proteins fold into unique three-dimensional structures. The shape into which a protein naturally folds is known as its native conformation. Biochemists often refer to the following four distinct aspects of a protein's structure. 4.4.1 Primary Structure it describes the unique sequence of amino acids regarding their types, total number, and arrangement in a polypeptide chain. It also gives information about the shape of a polypeptide chain, whether it is open, cyclic, or branched. Just as the letters of the alphabet can be combined to form an almost endless variety of words, amino acids can be linked in varying sequences to form a vast variety of proteins. The precise primary structure of a protein is determined by inherited genetic information. All amino acids in the primary structure are held together by covalent or peptide bonds, which are made during the process of protein biosynthesis or translation. These peptide bonds provide rigidity to the protein. The two ends of the amino acid chain are referred to as the C-terminal end or carboxyl terminus, C-terminus, and the N-terminal end or amino terminus, N-terminus based on the nature of the free group on each end. Examples of some of the proteins and their number of amino acids are, lysozyme, an enzyme that attacks bacteria, consists of a polypeptide chain of 129 amino acids, ribonuclease, 124, the alpha chain of hemoglobin, 141, the beta chain of hemoglobin, 146, ACTH, 39, and glucagon. 29 amino acids figure 4.7 primary structure of a protein 4.4.2 secondary structure it describes the folding and coiling of peptide chains giving a three-dimensional structure it represents the regularly repeating local structures stabilized by hydrogen bonds the most common examples are the alpha helix and beta sheet because secondary structures are local Many regions of different secondary structures can be present in the same protein molecule. Alpha helix, it is a clockwise spiral structure resulting from hydrogen bonding between C equals O groups of each amino acid and the NH2 group of amino acid, that is situated four residues ahead in the linear sequence. It is the most common polypeptide helices in nature. It may be right or left-handed. It gives strength and elasticity to the protein. There are about 3.6 residues in one complete turn and the distance between two turns is 0.56 nanometers. Common amino acids found in alpha helix are alanine, leucine and phenylalanine. Alpha helix is richly found in proteins of hair, nails, and skin i.e., keratin as well as in hemoglobin and myoglobin. Proline is usually not found in alpha helix. Figure 4.8 Secondary Structure of Protein, Alpha Helix, Left Beta pleated sheet, right. Beta pleated sheets, it is another form of secondary structure in which two or more polypeptides, or segments of the same peptide chain, are linked together by a hydrogen bond between the hydrogen of NH of one chain and the carbonyl oxygen of the adjacent chain, or segment. Hydrogen bonds exist between peptide chains running close to each other. Interchain hydrogen bonds are also found. It produces a fully extended polypeptide chain. The structure is slightly pleated due to angles and adjacent chains are parallel or anti-parallel. In both cases, side chains are on opposite sides. The common amino acids found in beta-pleated sheets are glycine, serine and alanine. Proline may also occur. Examples of proteins having predominantly beta-pleated sheets are collagen and fibrin. The triple helix, it is found in collagen. It is stabilized by both covalent and noncovalent bonds. Interchain H bonds are perpendicular to the long axis of the alpha helix. Interchain amide bonds as cross-slinks are also found. 
Many globular proteins have triple helix in their structures. Bends, these are formed by folding of the polypeptide chain, that changes the direction to produce a conformation called reverse turn. Generally composed of four amino acids. Stabilized by hydrogen and non-ionic bonds. Found on the surface of globular proteins and give compactness to the molecule. 4.4.3 Super Secondary Structure it is characteristically found in globular proteins. It is formed by the combination of different components of secondary structures. It includes, the beta-alpha-beta beta unit, Greek key, and meander. I beta-alpha-beta beta unit, consist of two parallel beta-pleated sheets which are connected by an intervening strand of alpha helix. Figure 4.9 beta-alpha-beta beta unit. 2 Greek key, it has conformation like classical Greek pottery. Figure 4.10 Greek key. 3 beta meander, it has 5 beta pleated sheets connected by reverse turns. It has extensive H bonding. Figure 4.11 beta meander. 4.4.4 tertiary structure, it describes the overall shape of a single protein molecule i.e., the spatial relationship of the secondary structures to one another. It also describes the completely folded and compacted polypeptide chain. The tertiary level of structure of protein represents its true three-dimensional shape as a highly coiled, folded, and complex structure. Tertiary structure is generally stabilized by noncovalent interactions, most commonly the formation of a hydrophobic core, but also through salt bridges, hydrogen bonds, disulfide bonds, and even post-translational modifications. The term tertiary structure is often used as synonymous with the term fold. The tertiary structure controls the basic function of the protein. The tertiary structure of extracellular proteins can also be stabilized by disulfide bonds, which reduce the entropy of the unfolded state. Disulfide bonds are extremely rare in cytosolic proteins since the cytosol is generally a reducing environment. So, the interactions stabilizing the tertiary structures are disulfide bonds, hydrogen bonds, hydrophobic interactions, hydrophilic interactions, ionic bonds, and van der Waals forces. Hydrophobic side chains are buried in the interior while hydrophilic groups are found on the surface. 4.4.5 Quaternary Structure It results from the aggregation of two or more polypeptide subunits held together by noncovalent interactions like hydrogen bonds and ionic or hydrophobic interactions. For example, two alpha chains and two beta chains combine to form a hemoglobin molecule. The subunits are usually related to one another by a symmetry axis, such as a two-fold axis in a dimer. Multimers made up of identical subunits may be referred to with a prefix of homo and those made up of different subunits are referred to with a prefix of hetero, example a heterotetramer of hemoglobin. High orders of protein structure, a functional protein is not just a polypeptide chain, but one or more polypeptides precisely twisted, folded, and coiled into a molecule of unique shape, conformation. This conformation is essential for some protein functions and enables a protein to recognize and bind specifically to another molecule example hormone-slash-receptor, enzyme-slash-substrate and antibody-slash-antigen. Figure 4.12 Different Structural Levels of Protein Proteins are not entirely rigid molecules. In addition to these levels of structure, proteins may shift between several related structures while they perform their functions. In the context of these functional rearrangements, these tertiary or quaternary structures are usually referred to as conformations, and transitions between them are called conformational changes. Such changes are often induced by the binding of a substrate molecule to an enzyme's active site or the physical region of the protein that participates in chemical catalysis. In solution proteins also undergo variation in structure through thermal vibration and collision with other molecules. Prion proteins, prions are infectious agents, these are altered forms of normal proteins that have changes in the three-dimensional structure. These proteins have resistance to proteolytic digestion. These act as a template to convert non-infectious proteins into infectious. Transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, says, and Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease are found in humans. Kuru is another prion disease seen in people who practice cannibalism. 
Neurogenerative disorders are seen in Alzheimer's disease due to the accumulation of amyloids, misfolded proteins, in the nervous system. Prion diseases of animals are scrappy in sheep and bovine spongiform encephalopathy, mad cow disease, in cattle. Exercise Questions MCQ1 Which of the following amino acids is both glucogenic as well as ketogenic? Arginine Glutamic acid Isoleucine Leucine Lysine MCQ2 Which of the following amino acids has an indole ring in its structure? Alanine Glycine Threonine Tryptophan Valine MCQ3 A seven-year-old girl was brought to the pediatric clinic by her parents, for the complaint of growth failure. She was looking weak and undernourished. Physical examination revealed edematous swelling over the legs and back. Which of the following proteins is deficient in this patient? Albumin Collagen Fibrinogen Hemoglobin Myoglobin MCQ4 Which of the following amino acids is involved in making a disulfide bonds? Alanine Arginine Cysteine Glycine Tyrosine MCQ5 Which of the following amino acids have been used clinically to aid in the recovery of burn victims? They are also used in the treatment of some cases of hepatic encephalopathy. Acidic amino acids Aromatic amino acids Basic amino acids Branched chain amino acids Sulfur containing amino acids Please write answers in the comments or contact drmjot at yahoo.com. End of, part 1 of 2, of chapter 4. Thank you.